Howdy all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play of Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, we completed the final mission in the vanilla campaign of this game in Shanghai, China, and in this episode, we're going to get started on the specially modded campaign, Inventors and Adventurers. Now, before we get started, I'm going to mention that this game is going to be modded, because it's going to be modded because well, this is a unique mod campaign set. So all of the maps, maybe a few, will have mods in them. So with that out of the way, let's head to the campaign and get started, shall we? Mankind is constantly... Inventors and Adventurers The Second Industrial Revolution was a phase of rapid standardization and industrialization from the late 19th century into the early 20th century. The age of science, new inventions, world's fairs, gold fever, mass migrations and major expansions of railroads. In 1919, the headline of the Seattle Post-Intelligencer on July 17, 1897, broadcast the news of the discovery of gold in the Canadian Klondike. Under the headline, Gold. 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 The newspaper reported that 68 rich men on the steamer Portland arrived in Seattle with stacks of yellow metal. Now, as you can see, these are unique missions that was basically never added in the original. So, we're going to go to some very unique destinations all across this entire world, so to speak. So, our first one will be taking place up in Alaska in the height of the Klondike Gold Rush. Our bonus tasks are locked. So let's basically get started on our first mission of the campaign, Inventors and Adventurers. Let's go. Yukon, 1898. Two years ago, gold was discovered in the Klondike River. The news spread like wildfire, and the country, in the midst of a depression, went gold crazy. Tens of thousands of gold-crazed men and women arrived in Sagway to begin their overland trek to the Klondike. 600 miles over treacherous and dangerous trails and waterways lay before them. An easier mode of transport into the north was of interest to everyone. Tens of thousands of gold-crazed men and women steam up the Inside Passage waterway, and arrive in Skagway, Alaska, to begin the overland trek to the Klondike. Each person is required to carry a ton of supplies up the Golden Stairs to the summit of the Chilkoot Pass. Others choose the longer, less steep, White Pass Trail, believing that pack animals can be used and will be easier. Both trails lead to the interior lake country, where stampeders can begin a 550-mile journey through the lake systems to the Yukon River and the gold fields. But before we do that, welcome to the Klondike. As you can see, this is quite a unique map. Not only that, but we also have something unique here. This is not normally in other games, but this is a special port where commodities will be exported, commodities brought into the city. As you can see, we already have an engine depot and a train station, but we don't have the ability to lay down track yet. But as we can see, Skagway is growing pretty well, and the only commodity that's needed here is incoming mail. Now, the other towns on the map, such as Bennett, Conrad, Caribou Crossing, and Whitehorse, are located within the interior of the country. But there's also tons of local mines. There's a couple of copper mines around here, and a silver mine. But where is the gold, you might be wondering? We don't know. But, however, here in Bennett, there's a small area, the Bennett-Yukon River Port. So, we need to deliver supplies to this. As you can see, it requires a unique commodity called prospectors. These are passengers, but only available to be loaded in cargo stations. But it also needs food and tools. But before we get started, I'll need to switch over to the mods for this map so i'll be right back and we're back as you may see 
some things are a little different. For one, the track work. This is basically the OEBB track pack, which I have will link down in the description, along with the rest of the mods. And let's have a look inside what vehicles we can buy. So we got the General, the 56, the Mogul, and the 10-wheeler, but we also have this, the B&O 460 Thatcher Perkins. Now there's several of these locomotives that we can acquire, and all of them, except for this one, can be colored. And also, as well, some new passenger cars. This is from the Empire State Express passenger set, which includes both the Empire State Express passenger cars and ones that can be recolored, which we're going to be using on our passenger trains. Also, we also have some new freight cars added, including this small flat car, this triple axle flat car, this super heavy flat car, this Baltimore and Ohio pothopper, and this Tiffany Clistery refrigeration car, which is perfect for carrying food. Now, before we get anything started though, we need to address the thing, which is building the track from here all the way up to Bennett. But how can we build track if there's no way to do it? Well, fortunately, there's a small logging camp right here, but Let's see what they need us to do right now. The trails are treacherous and dangerous and an easier mode of transportation is needed. A group of engineers concluded, however, that it would be impossible to build a railroad here. Therefore, you are asked to provide a reliable truck or tram connection between Skagway and Bennett to get those prospectors to Lake Bennett. The Chilkoot Trail is considered to be the easiest route. So basically, we need to transport prospectors from here to Bennett. However, it says in information, use cargo stations, not passenger stations, as this is basically a new commodity. Also included in this mod is also this, a conveyor belt, which I'll be using to extract the ores from the mines and bring them down to the railroad. But for now, we got a road to build. And you might notice there's also some wooden bridges. One of the mods I also added allows the ability to construct wooden bridges. But for now, we'll have to basically watch how much we spend. As you basically saw in the beginning, we only have a million credits. So we basically need to be very careful on how much we spend as we build this small mountain road up. And also, we need to avoid building any bridges. It's the main aim of the game, build up, no bridges, no tunnels. There's not going to be any bridges on my watch. Sure, it's more expensive to lay the ground than building a bridge, but I'd rather do that instead, because, I mean, look how much I can save by using this. If I just convert this to that... goes my money. Might as well increase the amount of money I have. I could only have a maximum of 12 million credits, so this is not going to be easy. But let's see. We'll call this White Pass and Yukon Transport. Anyway. Now with that done, we can start to continue expanding the, the road up through the mountains. Because I believe we might be able to get through this if we just get through this particular area right here. It's going to be a long one. But, I'm pretty sure this could 
basically be very beneficial. At least for now. Alright, I did state that I was not going to use a bridge, but I'm afraid I'll have to use a bridge here. It's going to drain some of my finances, but at least, however, it's still in the... I can still be able to build from this area. Let's just add another bridge. Finally out of the pass. All we need to do now is just connect Bennett with this roadway, and then we can start delivering prospectors to their respective destinations. We could keep this road open later on for deliveries and stuff like that. Because I have a feeling one of those industries nearby, aka that logging camp, could be beneficial to our company. We go. Now we also need to drop off our prospectors. We'll build a stop here to unload them and basically purchase ourselves a small vehicle depot to acquire some road vehicles. That is, if we could basically find a spot where it's not basically creasing into the landscape. This will do. Now you might notice the station and the freight house here. This is actually kind of the most unique part of this mod, is that it changes the textures from bricks to wooden planks, which I find very interesting. Now then, let's load up at full load. We'll basically put, let's just color this brown, and then connect Bolton's Way and Highland Street. Let's see. Now we need some passenger vehicles. Let's get four of these uh, stagecoaches. Put them at work on the line. Now that everything is settled, all we just need to do is just wait for the first ships to arrive with the prospectors from the other end of the map. As you basically see, this export from region requires silver or copper. And this particular commodity, zinc. While the import will bring in tools, food, prospectors, mail, as well as dynamite. And the stagecoaches will wait patiently to pick up their first load of prospectors as soon as the ships arrive. gonna take a little while so I'm gonna cut this right here and we're back as you can see one of our stage coaches has basically is on our the last bit of trip before dropping off their loads of well prospectors into Lake Bennett since I don't need to basically transport prospectors anymore but I have stagecoach I can at least delete them so I can earn back some money At Lake Bennett, the prospectors camp to build rafts or boats that will take them the final 500 miles down the Yukon to Dawson City. However, wood is scarce in this region. Cut down some timber at the nearby forest, and transport it to the prospectors in Bennett. Now we need to basically deliver some wooden planks. Fortunately, there's a logging camp not too far from here, but it's kind of below in the valley, and I need to deliver about 50 units of logs to this destination. So it's going to be a bit of a stretch. But fortunately, we could simply just build along this cliff edge, around this cliff edge, and then just simply try to reconnect by going up. And I need to pause this so I can at least be able to borrow some money from the bank. Turn 
turn that into that, and then just continue to climb up the road. Hopefully we might be able to get this connected somehow. I can't build at that height. How is it too much slope? Seriously, it's not much. Well, that will work, I guess. But it's gonna be a bit of a steep climb. Well, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Okay. With that done, let's get some uh, wagons to carry this load. Let's get 10 of these horse-drawn American carriages with side stakes. Put them to work on the logging service. With its connection to this logging camp, logs should start being loaded up. And logs are needed in the city of Bennett itself. Particularly in some of these industries. Guess they probably need this for court. I see. Well, shipment is starting to rise up. It just needs transport. White Horse actually needs logs too, but that's a very long way off. I'm not so sure we'll be even able to transport logs there. Speaking of which, logs are now starting to wait at the station. And, the tr and my horse-drawn wagons are heading down towards the logging camp. So, it's going to take another while for these logs to arrive at their destination. So, I'm going to cut this here again. And we'll see you all in just a moment once the li logs arrive in the town of Bennett. And we're back, yet again. As our last load of logs is needed at the logging camp. Well, deliver being delivered from the logging camp into Lake Bennett. Now, only one delivery is left to pull in. Speaking of which, after looking at the various vehicles I have available for me, I have decided to basically purchase a couple of these machines. I'll purchase one of these moguls. Purchase one of these uh, baggage cars. Give it a bit of a light gray. The same for its combination and its coach. To carry the prospectors with. Along with two of these reefers. Two oh. men appeared on the scene with essentially the same idea. Build a railroad through the White Pass. They are certain that it is possible. Give me enough dynamite and snoozy brag, and I'll build a railroad to hell. Build the first part of the railroad from Skagway to the construction camp halfway, and transport enough dynamite to the site to blow up those mountains. As I was about to say, I have some of the trains available. Hmm. Hmm. I'm surprised, actually. Well, now with that out of the way, we can now start transporting loads of dynamite up here. The Sagway Railroad Construction Camp requires both dynamite and tools. Well, dynamite and prospectors to help. I'll simply just lay a road here and just deliver supplies up here by road. Surprisingly, this area is actually quite, well, it's not as bad as compared to others. Huh? You are in a meeting with the city council on whether the new railroad should run through Broadway, the main street in Skagway, or not. Those bureaucrats might delay your project and increase costs. You have therefore asked your workers to build the railroad through Broadway before the meeting is over. Those people are in for a surprise when they go home. 
Now, basically, we have to basically find somebody in this town. Basically, for the main street of Sagway, we need to build a track through. But, however, we cannot build the track just yet, as we haven't built the supplies needed for it. And first of all, some of these rocks have to be removed. And now we can start basically laying a new operation into the mountains. Since it just needs dynamite and tools, we can just simply operate a temporary service for now. We'll set up one route for carrying tool, well, dynamite, and the other for carrying, well, prospectors. Let's get three, actually, no, four of these. Put them on the line two. And put about ten of, let's put about hmm, five and put it on line one. Now, the ships will start delivering in dynamite as well as prospectors to help with the construction. And again, I am going to cut this right here, and I'll see you all in a moment once we start delivering the supplies needed to help build the construction of the line. And we're back. As our last loads of dynamite and prospectors are arriving at the construction site, it will soon be time to help build the White Pass route through the mountains. It's going to be long and very, very expensive. I can tell you that for sure. Well done. Build the second part of the railroad to Lake Bennett and connect it to Skagway with a train line. You probably don't need the station at the encampment. I'm already way ahead of you. Also, now that we are able to basically start construction of the track, I'm also starting to lay down some track in our particular area as well. Granted, we'll have to delete some of these houses inside the rails, but that's the rule of progress. One building will be removed, but it will be fine. I could easily build a grade crossing between these two by simply hooking this road over. Hmm. Ah, oh, yeah, these rocks are basically blocking the way. Collision, 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 collision. Ooh, that's a thing. This is not gonna be easy. Oh, yeah. More rocks on this side. Jeez. And there we go. Perfect. We'll basically convert this into something else. And why is there a tunnel when it should basically be that? Ugh. I'll have to borrow more money. There. That should do it. Now, time to get some comp some track construction done. One of the mods I also added allows me to change on how steep the track can be laid. Now, according to the last I was building through this area, the railroad camp was going through this particular pass. It looks like the best one, although this one looks a little more realistic, I believe. I'm not so sure. Well, whatever the case, this is going to be a very steep track. Bankments, that's for sure. But these steep grades is just what I need to climb this mountainside. I'll lay the track down flat for this bridge right here. A nice sweeping wooden trestle. Same for this one with a stone bridge. And then, back up the 
back up the grade we'll go. Pass by the camp, continue our way up the mountainside. Convert this into land. Well, a cut out of the land. And convert this into a much more pleasing looking tunnel. And I'm basically out of funding again. Ugh, I'm gonna be right back.